I'm learning to fly a 1940s Harvard, and it's my first day of training on it with Anglian Warbirds. In episode one of this series, we spent a good deal of time finding our way around the cockpit and talking through procedures. Now we're circuit bashing at Earl's Cone. Pull back, hold it there, pull back some more, pull back some more, hold it there, pull back some more. Hold the stick all the way back. Keep straight. I was pleasantly surprised by my first landing. What fun. <laughs> <laughs> but in all honesty, it was a fluke, because as the day went on, things went downhill. Okie dokie. Righty ho, so. We prepare for my second circuit. Push power and we want uh, ten. 10, wasn't it? Two. Okay. Are you ready? I think so. Uh, Top in direct show, ready for puncture. OK, all yours. So we're straight. Yeah. Stick is back. OK. Heels to the floor. Yeah. And gradually build up. To 36. Up to 36. Keeping straight. OK. Yeah, 36. Stick forwards. You'll have noticed that little bounce and then a dip down and back up again. Nigel had to force the controls there to rescue that takeoff. He'll debrief me in a moment, but can you spot the next mistake I'm about to make? Okay. Push power. Gear up. And then uh, bring the flaps up now. Yeah. Flaps are up. We come back to 30. OK, 30, yep. And 2,000. Right down. And uh, then we can come back to 23. Was it? Hey, how's your gear looking? Sorry? How is the gear uh, looking? Right, no, gear's not up. OK, push power. Push power, and pull it. I didn't pull it all the way. All right, OK. Oh, well spotted. And yeah. it's up, and it's up. Yeah, <laughs> you have to make sure you get it all the way, that's it. Yeah. OK, so again on that takeoff, we were going towards the lights. Yeah, yeah. OK. And the nose could probably be not quite so far forwards. OK. And again, because you sort of bounced into the air, yep. you pushed forwards a little bit, bounced again, then pushed, then came quite nose high, then you started to push forward again, and you saw me do that yeah, yeah. quite severely. Yeah. Because you need to think about inertia. We needed to catch it before it started to go down again. Okay. Otherwise, you'd have been PIO. PIO stands for Pilot Induced Oscillation. It's where a pilot increasingly over controls in opposite directions, trying to correct a previous error. It often only gets worse and can lead to a complete loss of control. Nigel was quick to spot it and get us out of trouble. The problem was caused by me pushing the nose down too far after takeoff in an attempt to build speed. The Harvard's inertia caught me out. Turning final. OK, round you go. And the rest of the flaps. Push power. Down. Will my landing be any better? That's it. Well, 85. That's it. Red, spoos, three green. Red, props. Right, there's the prop. Yep, good, well done. OK, okay so get it all nice and gently sorted out. Power as you need to. Leave some power on, go on. We've got to sink before the trees, otherwise that's it. Just a little bit. Well done. There's the sink. Good. That's it. Power back a little bit. That's it. Leave it there. Round out. Round out. Power off. And hold her off. Hold her off. That's flat. Uh-uh. Leave the power off. And three-pointer there. Oh, OK? Blimey, yeah. I need to get used to beginning the flare at a much higher height in the harbour than I'm used to, so that the speed can bleed off in order to get into the three-point attitude at the point of touchdown. 
This shot from another angle, filmed as I continued my circuit training, illustrates the point perfectly. Just look at how high above the ground I am in the flare. Hold it there. Oh my god. That's fine. We're beginning to relax a little bit with it now, which is good. I can yeah. see. I fully appreciate that I'm in a privileged position here, being given this extraordinary opportunity to learn the Harvard. And if this is out of your reach, I hope you find something in these videos that either inspires or teaches you something new. With lockdown easing, we'll be back in the air soon and I'll be able to share some more of my more traditional flights in the Warrior. Well done. Oh, I did it, Nigel, nice. <laughs> did it. <laughs> oh, that was absolutely fantastic. Nigel, thank you so much. Good. Amazing. No, really good. Well done. Day one complete but I've been learning in favourable wind conditions. Next, I have to operate the Harvard in a crosswind. Duxford Aerodrome in Cambridgeshire, one of the earliest RAF stations dating back to 1918. And it's going to be my playground today as I practise takeoffs and landings in a stiff crosswind. Go into X-ray file for the bus. Off into X-ray, check wheels on and locked, and uh, until discretion 2-4 grass. The wind is uh, southerly 1-4, maximum 1-7 knot. Skid down a lot, thanks. Go off into X-ray. A 14 to 17 knot crosswind wouldn't phase me in the PA-28, but tail draggers are a different kettle of fish. Battle wings, 2-4. That's it, doing all right. 2-4 left hand. And just relax. One, Leave one, the crab on for the moment. Leave the power where it is. That's it. So he's a power back a little bit, just a bit. That's it, leave it there. Keep it at 85. 85. Round out here. Go straight, little bit of rudder. A little bit of left aileron. Take the power off. And raise the nose. That's it. OK, don't worry. Just hold it here. There you go. Fly the aeroplane on the ground still. A little bit of left aileron. That's it. Yeah, so don't forget, when you're on the ground, you still have to, you can't just neutralise the aderons, you've got to think about the wind, yeah? <laughs> I, I, I understand that, I don't know, I don't know why. <laughs> you've got to just get to do it, yeah? I, 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 I'm so sort of um, That's fine. saturated with, with everything I, else. I know. An aeroplane like this will nearly always turn heads and attract a crowd. There's a line of admirers scrutinising my technique. If only they knew it was the flying report. I was going to say, <laughs> I don't normally get that many fans. I think it might have something to do with the aeroplane. And it's just my luck that I have spectators on a day when I'm not really on top of my game. On the next takeoff, I struggle with rudder control. And off we go. 36 inches, off you go. Set. Stick forwards. Right rudder. Right rudder. It's full in, it's full in. Uh, there you go. Up we go. Nose was a little bit low. Raise the nose. Wings level, come on. Fly out straight from the runway. I sense Nigel's frustration, but I'm just having one of those days. We had to abort the next landing as well because I got myself in too much of a pickle. OK, round out. Round out, round out, round out, round out. Roger, your lemur's clear to the south. We'd like to go to Essex Radar, 120625. Off you go, go around. Go around. Push power. And in a complete moment of stupidity, instead of raising the flaps in increments, I pull them up in one go. Flaps. That'll do. No more than that, not all in one go. Just a bit at a time. I think I'm tired, and the added complication of a strong crosswind is overloading me. 
sorry, Nigel, I just don't know whether I'm uh, ever, ever going to get this. Yeah, you will, you will. You look crikey, you haven't done many hours on it, if you know. Uh, Final for the cross, come for one ahead. As ever with circuits, it's a case of just going round. Hold it there. Yeah, that's fine. And round. Hold it there. Wait for it. And round. Wait, we're Wait for it. That's it. Oh, blimey. Until you crack it. What's waving? I don't know who that is. <laughs> I feel it's time to head back to base. But to release some of the stress from the last hour or so of difficult flying, Nigel has a surprise for me. Okay, so just look straight ahead. There we go. Up we go, 45. Then we check and roll. Oh my god. <laughs> that's cool. That's easy, isn't it? That's okay. all there is to it. That's lovely. All right. That's great fun. <laughs> but now the aeroplane's wound up. <laughs> so we have to do one the other way, is that right? <laughs> Here we go. Nice and gentle, check it there. And round we go to the right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, what a shame I've got my mask on, because you can't see the grin. <laughs> Tiger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what a... Oh, it's hard oh, work. It's good. It's hard work. Done all right. Good. Well done. Thank you for watching. Fly safely, my friends.